Hi, I'm Steve from Norfolk and Good Road to Self Sufficiency. Um, beautiful day. If you've not seen any of my videos before, welcome. Thanks for picking up and watching. It's about my road to turn a <coughs> blank canvas into a no dig, self sufficient vegetable and hopefully fruit garden, along with everything else that comes with it. So, thank you for watching. Um, today, I've just done the first cut of the grass area that you can see behind me uh, and so I thought it was a good opportunity to show you um, how I build up a, a compost heap and um, riddle through some of the compost as well so we'll show you all of that and I'll turn the camera around and we'll get going. So this is my compost area and here we've got a third one on the go. So if I come down here you can see that we've already got um, a layer of horse muck in there that's quite fresh and then we've got today's grass clippings so I'm going to even that all out uh, and then I'll just show you the process of what we're going to do. So bear with me while I get organised. The first thing we do is just level this out a little bit. So there's a lot of green with a few leaves in there and we need to add some brown material. So one of the things that we do is uh, shred all the paper that comes into the, to the house. And save it up every now and again put it on the compost just get rid of this in Here I've got some more reasonably fresh. Spread around. It's a bit smelly this one today. It's quite fresh. So what I also need today is some decent compost for uh, putting a few things in and what I've done is sort of set up my own riddling base using the um, ericaceous compost bin it's not quite full but I've built a, a riddler that fits nicely across that. Uh, let me fetch that and I'll show you what it looks like. So what I've got here, the base is from an old panel from an old chicken coop and then just built up the edges with some handles on and the width of it fits nicely. Across 
compost bin there. So I'm going to put a tarp down underneath it, stick a wheelbarrow underneath, and then I'll uh, bucket on some compost that hasn't fully rotted down yet. Um, but I just want to riddle out some really good compost uh, for potting things in. So I've put the tarp down, got the wheelbarrow in, and now we're going to get some compost. Get a bucket load on and just riddle this through. And then rubbish goes in a pot down there. And when you're left with stuff that hasn't quite rotted down, you can just chuck it back onto the new compost bin that we're starting up. So we'll just go over there with the grass, shredded paper and the horse rock. And what we end up with Is lovely crumbly homemade compost and what I'm going to do with that is uh, put some of it aside but let me show you what I did with a couple of barrel loads that I did earlier so I put about an inch dressing of it onto my garlic and onion bed here keep adding an inch on every now and again onto all of my no dig beds we're feeding the soil not the plants it's just life cycle things rot they get put in the thick put on the beds we grow stuff can't be better than that so just call me the riddler today so thanks for watching if you like what you see and you want to follow my journey please please hit that subscribe button and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. I'll see you soon.